And I used to watch a lot of pornography when I was not married. I can see this habit creeping into my life again. How do I get rid of this? Just to clarify as well, or just to mm -hmm. add, um, it causes marital issues, challenges, Absolutely. and marriages Absolutely. broken down because mm -hmm. of these issues. Mm -hmm. So if you can just also add those bits. This is a common question, brothers and sisters, those who are watching this program, the issue of pornography, especially uh, that technology has become uh, so close to us now. Our mobile phones has, bec has become inseparable from our lives, that today internet is so wide, spread that we have the independence to watch see uh, what we want in our own custody in our own comfort uh, but as a muslim i have to remember that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is watching me if my family members are not watching me my relatives my kith and kin my dear friends people in my surrounding uh, allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is watching me la tanzur ila al ma'siyah walakin inzur ila man asayta don't look at just the sin but look at who you're sinning against. When you have this concept in your head, you will gradually come away from this. A person who is addicted to pornography, uh, many studies show, dearest brothers and sisters, for a strong Muslim, no doubt he or she will stop it. But it can be a gradual journey coming away from this filth. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says, لا يستوي الخبيث والطيب ولو أعجبك كثرة الخبيث That which is filthy, that which is pure, can they be equal even though that which is harmful for you that which is filthy toxic that might be more attractive to you this is what allah <coughs> subhanahu wa ta'ala says this very thing it is destroying the lives of many and as my uh, dear brother he he mentioned that uh, when it comes to marital relationships it's having a, a huge impact in marital relationships that we are seeing so you've got to think about that and before i conclude i want to say one very important point as many of the ulama they said man taraka shay'an lillahi awwadallahu khayran minhu you sacrifice something for the sake of allah allah will give you something better have that mindset think about that next time you open your phone or you think about uh, watching pornography the, the the thing you need to think about is no one is watching but my lord allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is watching me and he will become displeased because this is to some extent fornication the uh, the fornication of the eyes wallahu alam uh, it's very, very important. The Sheikh has discussed and touched upon a very important and relevant subject. And in today's society, it's one of the biggest challenges, especially to us as Muslims. And if you do have any kind of such issues, please do get in touch with professional networks or services that are available again to deal with such sort of addiction. And we know NHS has those kind of um, services available. So please get in touch, have a word with them. Uh, what are the right course of actions? And inshallah, they will be able to um, guide you through also uh, one of the things that we can also do the me time my time personal time let's make sure that we're not left alone in a corner of a house in my own room and try to engage with the family or perhaps friends going outside getting myself or ourselves busy so that that issue cannot creep in uh, yes. when we are yeah. private or secluded inshallah uh, the rest allah knows the best and allah will help us all uh, especially yeah. those who are going through um, such sort of challenges